Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people bleach the sh out of their hair. We are definitely most likely gonna see horrible bleaching dye jobs. Very horrible stuff go horrifically wrong. And maybe, just maybe, some of them can save it at the end. I don't know what's gonna happen, but all I do know is that there will be bleach involved and it will be horrifying. I love bleach veil videos. It's what makes hair just reacts a great thing to watch. Really, these are my favorite. They're so insane, they leave me speechless. And it's just interesting to watch how badly somebody can f up their own hair. I must say, it is much harder these days to come across bleach veil videos. I'm gonna give myself the credit for this. I think that I'm helping the world have less sh hair. I really do because people are bleaching their hair correctly at home. And I'm like, damn, I thought I could educate, but I didn't think it would be this effective. It's kind of wild to me. So let's see if any of these people today took any lessons from me before bleaching their hair Or maybe they didn't had no idea who I am in the first place. Let's do it Up first we have a video by Julianne Marcus and this is called bleaching my hair until it falls out and dying at lavender from college dorm room Let's watch the video. This is my hair before anything. Right off the bat, she has gorgeous natural color. She has a beautiful, blonde, beachy hair color. To see that she is about to probably completely ruin it is a little heartbreaking for me, but I do like a good change, so I'm ready for it. Wait, people usually do this, right? Oh, this is my ear. <laughs> what are we doing? It looked good. It was exciting. It was a fun time. I really like the dark hair on her. I think it looks like her natural hair color. I actually like it more than the blonde hair, so. It began when I decided I would cut my hair myself. Exhibit A. And then this happened. Those are plastic shopping bags on our heads, by the way. She was orange. She was bright yellow. She was brown in places. So I dyed her purple. And then I decided that this would not do. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. We've already been through so much and the video hasn't even really begun yet. We just went from her natural hair color to brown to bleaching it, then dyeing a purple and it looking super fierce once again. Now, where are we going with this? See, once you start coloring your hair, it just opens up a can of worms. So this is what we're currently working with and it looks like this. It doesn't look awful. Again, I bleached my hair yesterday and you're not supposed to bleach it two times times in a row. Well, that's not true. I mean, you can really lighten your hair as many times as you want. If you want to bleach it multiple times in one day, you just have to be extra careful and make sure your hair is not extremely compromised when doing the second process. Um, It's a lot of just looking at the hair, analyzing and knowing what to do next, which is why professional hairdressers have their jobs. Except it does hurt your scalp really bad when you bleach it twice in a row. So I wouldn't recommend that. If this ever goes anywhere and Brad Mondo happens to be watching. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. It's not okay. So I got the Manic Panic Flash Lightning Super Strength Bleach Kit. Okay. 30 volume cream developer. And then I got what I believe is a toner. The whole toner thing is very unclear to me. I got the High Lift Ash Blonde in the brand Ion. I feel like I didn't teach you anything, did I? Like nothing, nothing at all. The flash lift kit, I'll take it. At least it says 30 volume on it, you know what you're getting. But then we're using a high lift. A high lift is not a toner. A toner is a deposit only color, whereas high lift is on the complete other side of the spectrum. It is the most intensely lifting hair color you can possibly use. These sorts of colors are used on your natural hair in order to make it literally blonde uh, without using lightener or bleach. Like I would have rather used a permanent color. Like this is actually the worst thing you could have chose to use. So good job. The reason I originally bleached my hair is because I wanted it to be lavender. So I have two Arctic Fox colors that I'm going to combine. Oh God, we're going to try and do lavender. Lavender is one of the most difficult colors to get. Your hair always has a little bit of yellow in it. And in order to tone yellow, we use a violet base, which AKA lavender. In order to get a lavender color to really stick over top blonde, you really need like the perfect amount of violet pigment in there. Not too much or else it'll turn really purple and not too little or else it will only tone your hair and make it nice and bright white blonde. It's really tricky and it fades very quickly. It's one of the more difficult colors to get. I'm gonna section my hair. Oh, 
We're sectioning. It's like a song. Sectioning my hair. I got two boxes of bleach. Two different brands. We're beginning. Because they didn't have two of the same brand of bleach. I had no application method and I basically just put it in my hair. I'm really enjoying this application process. She is doing a great job taking very small sections, using enough lightener, not doing her roots first. It's actually quite well done. Actually, I don't know if she's doing her roots or not. I, I can't really tell. Never mind. I take that mostly all back. 50% of that back. Um, She's putting on her roots first. How many videos? Of mine have you watched because if you've watched like literally one you would know not to do that literally one of them juliana god damn it i mean at least she's putting in the effort she's really not afraid she's going for it and uh you know the sectioning is i'm happy with it hopefully the result isn't too bright at the roots and dingy at the ends but it probably will be basically what's going on under here is that this front part is like blue and then it gets kind of green yellow back there i know for a fact that the front is gonna look bomb it's gonna be like platinum i'm pretty sure yeah we'll see about that <laughs> 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 At least she's wearing a bag. She's ink ubating. She's warming that lightener up and allowing it to process beautifully. Um, thing is, I don't really know what to do about it. Oh. It's clean. Um, and then you get around mm. the back. It's, it's just yellow. It's just yellow back there. This is the thing when it comes to color corrections, when people f it up at home and then come to a hairstylist to fix it. It's actually way more work and way more expensive in order to fix it rather than just doing it right the first time. This is a prime example of that. I think I'm going to do this toner and see what happens because there's a lot of yellow there. Oh no, we're using the high lift. Oh, it stings, it stings a little too. That's good. And now she's gonna put 20 volume on her scalp. That's gonna sting so bad. I wasn't and still am not very sure how to use toner and what it might do to green hair. That burns like a mother trucker. We're washing this out, we're washing it out, we're washing it out. She's feeling confident about this enough to go through with it and at least she's putting in the work and the effort and trying her best. She's gonna be really disappointed in the results, I'm sure. So here's my hair right now. Yellow in the back, green in the front. Looks exactly the same, but probably with a little bit more damage. And I think the only thing to do now is just to try dyeing it. Supposedly, if I put purple over green, it'll make kind of like a grayish purple, which isn't too bad. If I put purple over yellow, it'll probably make like a pinkish purple. At least she has her color theory down. Here we go. I have my two colors. This one for closer to the front and this one for closer to the back. And we'll see what happens. I like the idea. The concept is there. I like that fact that she's using two different toners on two different parts of her hair that are two different colors. That's good thinking. I'm glad we're, we're thinking, but your hair is just not light enough. It's not gonna give you that, that beautiful lavender look you're trying to achieve. And we'll see what happens. This girl has perseverance and patience like no other. rooting for you though. Still. Okay. It's fascinating is what it is. I uh, rinsed out the dye yeah. and I've been out of the shower Super for about 30, 40 minutes. Oh, shoot. This is how we're looking. Mm. It looks pretty terrible. Uh, don't show me the back. I don't want to see that. I don't think it's terrible. I really don't. Wear it with confidence and I would say it's a look, but definitely has its, its, its bad sides to it. It was rough around the edges, but I just sort of decided that I didn't care at all. Things have happened, and it wouldn't have been nearly as fun if I had done a good job. It's actually really cute, and it's lavender. I don't get it, guys. I don't get how you guys can pull these things off. I mean, it definitely wasn't the greatest color. She definitely damaged the shit out of her hair for no reason. Did a lot of things wrong, and it doesn't look perfect, but I'm into it. Good, decent job, I guess. All right, let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by Mahira, and this is it's called bleaching my hair blonde because why not? Bail. Question mark, exclamation point. Let's check it out. I am going to be bleaching my hair using the Schwarzkopf. 
Schwarzkopf. Premium developer, which is the 30 volume one. And then the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Bond Enforcing Premium Lightener. And it should lift up to nine levels. Her hair is so dark. It's like a level three. Oh, she's gonna have such a hard time lightening this. I don't know how she's gonna do it or if she's going to do it. I don't know at all. This is the state of my hair at the moment. I cut it, it's very greasy because I wanted to keep it greasy for bleaching my hair. The fact that she already has pre-lightened pieces also makes me really nervous because those pieces are susceptible to snapping off. Besides that, I really like the dark hair on her. I would prefer her do like a plum red. The blonde, I don't know so much about. It's, eh, uh, uh. Has to be the right shade of blonde. So I did a test patch and that's how it came out. We did a test patch? That's awesome, honestly, because nobody does that. It's annoying to do, it takes a while, but it is so worth it when you don't know if your hair is going to process the way you think it's going to. It is the best way to ensure that you know the results are going to be good or are going to be bad. This is basically the sped up version of bleaching my hair. I had no method whatsoever and I was using a makeup brush because the hair applicator brush that I had was really small. I didn't saturate it enough and that's why my hair was really patchy the first time round. So the foiling was a good idea. Second thought is before you start your hair, make sure you have a plan guys. Third of all, those sections are way too big. You are not getting all the layers. What we usually do in the salon is take extremely thin slices horizontally to do this method. It takes forever. It's a huge long process, but I'm glad you're using foil because your hair is really dark and if you didn't use foils, it would not have lightened as much as it did. Okay, so I have oh. done the two back sides, but not the roots. Oh, hell no. I'm going in the roots and it's been around oh, hell no. 40 minutes and I'm still, I still haven't done the front bit. So I basically, I know I'm going to have to do it again because I missed out this section and this section it is gonna be so patchy and there's gonna be so many dark spots and stuff i know so i thought i would give it a 360 on what my hair looks like so yeah the back it's like really badly done but it's okay how did it come out that bad i thought you were gonna do like platinum all over like why is it highlighted and low lighted something's not calculating in my head you really went in there and did something but it wasn't the right something. For something like this, you should really section your hair into four quadrants, then work your way up from the bottom, going in horizontal sections, really thin slices in foils, going all the way up and fully saturating the hair within every single foil, processing every section for the same amount of time, rinsing out off, then going in on your root and processing it until it is all beautiful and blonde. I really thought that I was saturating it enough, but I wasn't, and it was so uneven, as you can see from like the rest of my head. It's tragic, quite frankly. So this is the current state of my hair. Very uneven. Holy sh I am now going in for a second bleach to go over the dark bits. Oh my God. This is what my hair is looking like. I know it's still gonna be uneven, but I really don't care. Why can I tell through the cap that she didn't get all of her roots? Like through the cap, through the screen, through her camera lens, I can tell that she didn't get all of her roots covered. That's concerning. I'm gonna be bleaching my whole hair again. My hair still hasn't like greasened up yet, but I just wanna get it over and done with. So this is what my hair is looking like like at the moment. This side is darker than this side because I let this side on for like 40 minutes whereas this side was like an hour. This is a lot. Girl, I don't know how you're gonna save this one. Why didn't you do the front hairline? Why did we miss the front? The most important part. So this time around, I used my hands and that was so, so, so much better than using the makeup brush or the hair applicator brush. You can totally use your hands with lightener as long as you're wearing gloves, but it does help using your hands and really getting the lighter in there. And I was able to fully saturate it like right from the top, then from the bottom. Sorry, this is so hectic for me. <laughs> I just want to know why we couldn't just use our two pointer fingers and go like this to section our hair. Like, why did we just grab whatever came up and put it in a bun and then start lightening it? Like, why is the line like this? Do you know what I mean? This is the current state of my hair. Um, I hope I covered it okay. I know, I feel like the back bits, it's just like, it's not perfectly done, but I'm gonna start washing out this side of my hair. I love the like helmets you guys create for yourselves when you're trying to do foils. Okay, so 
This is after the second bleach, which you guys just saw. Honestly, with the right toner formulation for the roots and the ends, it would be good. But we know, we both know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> you could fix this, I swear. I've done it many times. It's something. I'm gonna go out now to buy toner and then, yeah, I'm just gonna put that on and then hopefully it will all look okay. It will cure all your problems. I am honestly so dumb. You're meant to put toner on damp hair and I put it on dry hair. Nothing's gonna happen, but obviously it, it absorbs better on damp hair. Yes, typically toner is used on wet hair. You can also use it on dry hair. It depends on the situation, but washing it is going to get rid of all of the product, any oil buildup on your hair. That way, sort of the grooves and the holes in your hair can be filled up with the toner or the glaze or whatever you wanna call it. When you apply to wet, clean hair, it's evening out the palette with moisture so that parts of the hair don't pick up darker than the rest and various other reasons. But that is one of the biggest reasons is so that it all takes evenly and your already damaged hair is a little more hydrated. So this is the final look, oh my God. Wait, I'm living for the glasses though. Honestly, I look so bougie. This is me when I'm blonde. Honestly, I look so bougie. I know it's not perfect, but I wasn't expecting perfect. Like I've never done my hair before and I mostly did it myself apart from like the back. Personally, I think it looks nice. I'm so happy with my hair. Oh my god. Like it looks so good. Wow. I retract what I said earlier about the blonde not looking good on her because it looks really good. Definitely not perfect once again, but I'll take it. I'll take it. But next time we can work on the technique maybe. But I'm feeling the look. Good job. Not great job. I'm not gonna give you a great job, but good job. Except the whole process was incorrect but it's okay. I'm glad you didn't do anything too silvery or too ash tone. It's nice and neutral, which is exactly what I think would be good for you, so. Bravo, baby. Well, those two bleach jobs were not amazing, but not the absolute worst. And I'm glad I'm helping people figure out how to do their hair a bit better so there's not so many hair disasters in the world. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Hit the bell icon and the like button if you would like to be notified every time I post a new video. You can also text me right here. This is really connected to my phone. Yes, I'll be answering a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. You're on my social media handles all around me. If you would like any of these colors in my hair or any of my hair care made especially for you, you can shop it at xmondohair.com is linked below as well as go to our instagrams for hair inspo at xmondo for color at xmondo hair for hair care. today's instagram shout out goes to nora and she says i'm definitely gonna buy myself super purple as soon as possible to give it a try i also want to ask you which style you think would best suit me i think you have gorgeous hair and i think super purple would look absolutely stunning also i think you should cut it get some layers cut it maybe three inches shorter about right here get some curtain bangs going on some angles do it purple and it would look stunning on you. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. And I hope you love Super Purple. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.